Hey guys, what's up? Resin86 here, bringing you a new replay, or should I say, replays. Yes, we have three different perspectives of this match on Live Oaks. In their E25s, it's Engine 95, the Canuck 11, and in his Crusader SP with the FE-304's gun, Bottled Violence. So we start off with Engine, and, and Canuck, who is parking up right next to him. And they go to these bushes at D8 and see if they can stir up some trouble. However, there's nothing. Engine doesn't spot anything. The Canuck doesn't spot anything. Bottled, top-down view, nothing. Well, let's just skip and, and skip up to when the, the battle actually starts. Here we go, our first customer, a challenger. Good aim, go straight in like a hot knife through butter. Second shot misses, unfortunately, and the challenger goes back into defilade. No more damage on him, unfortunately. But we do have a replacement, the 87. First shot misses, maybe a little bit more lead. There we go. And Canuck and Engine are both laying into him. But now the 87 slightly angles his armor, and we're not penetrating. So let's go to Canuck's view. There we go. He gets a better shot, gets his tracks, turns him a little, goes for the commander's cupola. First one bounces, and the last one goes in. And that's the first kill for this team. However, the things aren't looking pretty good. It's one to three, one to four now. Oh boy, Comet pops up. Just the slightest bit of his turret, nothing. And Canuck goes to see if he can help out Bottle Violence as the push at the south is getting really, really bad. Still at 1 to 6. Engine spots the Rudy. First one bounces. 1 to 7. Second one goes in. And he gets back into cover. However, the things really are not looking good. The north is starting to go down. The south is also in peril. The scores are 1 to 7, and it is only going to get worse. Let's see if Bottled Violence has a little bit more luck. All right, he spots the Rudy, fires, and oh, it goes just a little bit long, but that's okay. This, the reload of this gun, is extremely fast. Remember, this is the FE-304's gun. We have a VK-3001H. Come on, aim and bullseye! Full damage, full penetration, 438 damage, and that is the third kill of the team. However, the scores are not looking good. At one point, they were one to nine, and now it's three to ten. Good shot into the Rudy. However, there is an ELC making his way down the D-line. Let's go to Engine and see if he can stop him. He's definitely going for him. The ELC goes into defile. He can't shoot him, so he decides to assault. However, oh, it's getting really close to bottled. Let's go to his perspective, see what he can do. Shotgun mode. Come on. And, oh, narrowly misses. A, sl a little slide by the ELC and a good handbrake turn allows him to get a shot into bottled. However, Engine is now punishing him. Let's see if Bottle can finish him off. Excellent! 153 damage, that's the ELC down. However, if you look at the minimap, C6, there's a Hellcat. Oh, no, no, no! He's at B9! The Wolverine, the Wolverine is also starting to cap. However, Bottle does have a good shot at this Hellcat. Let it aim, let it aim, let it aim. Or don't! Full penetration, 500 damage. Leaves the Hellcat at only 64. Let's see if he can make it two for two. Reloads, fires. Just right. Takes him for the rest of his 64 hit points. But now, if you look at the minimap again, the Wolverine is down, but there is a T29 starting to roll through the open field. There he is. Let's go to Engine's perspective as he is starting to lay into him. Next one bounces. There we go. The T29 really does not know how to angle, apparently. And Engine is just piercing his armor through the sides and through the front. One more shot. Engine takes the kill. That's two for Engine, one for Canuck, and three for Bottle Violence. But we still have a Crusader up north. He is really, really being annoying to these guys. And Canuck has apparently taken quite a bit of damage. He's down to 322 hit points. However, we do have an ARL and an M6 pushing in, so the Crusader will have to wait 
ARL is first in line. They coordinate. Both of them are going to start shooting him. ARL goes down to engine. He starts to face the Crusader. However, Canuck says, D Dude, don't worry. I'll go get him. You take care of the M6. Engine auto aims, but the M6 is firing at Canuck. Obviously, that's what he would want to do. Go for the lowest HP one, take guns off the field. Engine's about to take out the M6. Come on, one more shot. And the score is now miraculously in their favor. 12 to 11. Crusader bounces off engine, and Bottle takes him out. And now, only a KV-2. Let's go to Canuck's perspective. Oh, turret shot misses, but the KV-2 decides to push up even further. One good shot, the ISU puts a 413 shot, and Canuck takes a kill for his second. That's 10 kills between the three of them, and only the Artie left. Let's, let's go cut into where they start to look for him. There we go, they're at the south of the map. Where is this guy? Nowhere to be found on the K-Line. Ah, uh, maybe he's in the dip in H1, H2. No, doesn't look like it. Let's wait until he crests the hill. No, nothing. You know what? Let's just let's just fast forward to when he meets him. Oh, in the city. A1. There he is! He's going at full speed. One shot. Ram! And that's 11 kills for the three of them. Let's go to the post-game stats. Now, here we are at the post-game stats. Engine 95, as you can see, 3,000 damage, as well as fire for effect, high caliber, and you can't see it here, but he did get a first-class mastery badge. Bottled violence, bruiser, fighter, 1,800 damage, and the Canuck 11 in his E25, 1,625 damage, fire for effect, bruiser, and hand of god. Also, a shout out to this ISU-122S, got 4 kills, 2,100 damage, real team player, Spartan, Fire for Effect, Hand of God, Steel Wall, Fighter, and Duelist. However, the individual scores are not what is important about this battle. Oh no, no, no. What's important about this battle is the teamwork. These guys managed the four of them. But mostly Engine, Bottled, and, Canu and Canuck. They have managed to come back from a 3 to 11. Those four versus 12 of the enemy team. And they won. At that point, not to put down uh, the ISU. No, not at all. He did really good. He played really well. But these three guys managed to show us a level of teamwork that only comes from playing these games for years. These guys have known each other before I even before I even met them. And that was the better part of, of three to four years ago. These guys have played everything. They've played World of Tanks since Beta or Alpha. They've played War Thunder since Alpha. World of Warships, Armored Warfare. You name it. And God knows what games they played before that, I don't know. But they have managed to get to know each other so well that they can anticipate what the other is going to do before the other even thinks about doing it. That's how well they know each other. And that has led them to victory in clan wars, in strongholds, tank companies overall. And that level of gameplay, that level of teamwork, is what you hope to achieve eventually, with time, because it does not come overnight. With time, that's what you want to get to. To know each other so well that you can anticipate what the other is going to do before they even know it. And before I start ranting anymore, I'm going to stop right there. Thank you so much, guys, for watching. If you liked it, please give it a like. Leave a comment. If you didn't, the dislike button is right next to it. And I will see you in the next one.